Okay, so let's uh, do the third part of this, finding the pH during a weak acid strong base titration. So now we're going to calculate the pH um, of the solution following uh, uh, addition of 40.00 mils of NaOH. So remember on these ones, we going to do two different ice tables. Okay, the first ice table showing what happened when we um, took uh, the NaOH and added it to our acid here, okay? So if you recall, the number, we got this from the last problem, the number of moles of uh, propionic acid was 0 0.00 four zero 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 moles, right? And we took that and that and got it, okay? So this time we're gonna have the number of moles of NaOH to be 0 0.004 moles, like that. Everybody okay with that? So if you can't do that in your head, go ahead and calculate it out just like we did the last problem. So the first ice table, CH3, CH2, COH, aqueous, plus sodium hydroxide. But for sodium hydroxide, we're just going to put the OH minus. And that goes forward, OK? So here, we're going to make CH3, CH2, COO minus aqueous plus H2O. Okay. So I, C, E. So what do we get here? 0 0.004000. starting out with the acid, it's starting out with its conjugate base, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to re, I'm going to erase this and rewrite a new equation starting with the conjugate base, okay? Using the ice. Okay, so don't need any of this stuff.
Is this the equation for KA? Yes. Okay. Um, what is it for? KB. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out what KB is, right? Because this is the base here. Okay. So we got KA here, right? Remember, KW equals KA times KB. So KB equals KW over KA. OH minus. Okay. 
So, H3 O plus equals KW divided by OH minus 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 6.2 times 10 to the negative 6. So, questions on that one? But I apologize for misspeaking. Questions? questions? 